Hello, hello, Andrew here, Smart Fitness, with your custom video for Oscar and Mary Ann. Um, I'm gonna go through everything with the exception of the first part of the warm up. It's exactly the same for both of you. So, Oscar, you're gonna take 60 seconds, you're gonna find a step. It could be a step at your house, it could be a step, uh, a curb, anything that lets you raise up six or so inches. Right leg up first and then back down. You're gonna repeat that for 30 seconds at whatever pace you can stand, going ultimately as fast as you can. 30 seconds on that one leg, then 30 seconds on the other leg. Marianne, you're gonna go ahead and march, lift the leg, rotate your torso, look the direction of whatever leg is lifting up. Okay, you're gonna do that for 60 seconds. So Oscar, 60 seconds up and down off the box. Marianne, 60 seconds marching in place. The next thing that you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and balance on one leg, okay, from the side. You're gonna balance on one leg and you're gonna bend that leg and you're gonna hang out there in this squat balance position for 30 seconds on one leg. Then of course, 30 seconds on the other. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna go ahead and do is, you're gonna go ahead and grab a chair. Okay, you're gonna set up to that chair. Your feet are at shoulder width maybe a little wider. Your toes are pointed out just slightly. Okay, something to hold on to here, a heavy chair, a couch, a table, something, okay? And you're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Touch off the chair, five, four, three, two, one. Then up, five, four, three, two. Tuck the hips underneath. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the belly button, raise up onto your toes, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, repeat. Okay, that would be five of those total. If you experience pressure in your knees, you're gonna go ahead and reach down, grab at your ankle, pull it back, tuck the knee in, and sit up tall and hold that stretch for 10 seconds on one side and then 10 seconds on the other side. You're gonna repeat that stretch three to four times, then go back to doing the squats. Marching in place, step ups, balance, squats, and then the next thing is going to be, okay, the next thing is gonna be our hip tuck and then our shoulder exercise. So the positions in the setup are the same. Your feet are about shoulder width and about that far away from the wall. Your knees are always, what Mary Ann? Bent. Okay, a little bit of pressure through the legs. Your butt touches the wall, your shoulders touch the wall. And then from there, all I want you to do is arch your back like you're on the red carpet, then tuck your hips like your name is Urkel. Arch your back on the red carpet, tuck your hips like you're Urkel. Then do that a few times and then take the arch out so you're no longer arching. You've gotten out of the habit of doing this arch and all I want you to do is just tuck under, hold, draw your belly button, three, two, one. It looks like this from the side, from here, okay? It's tuck under, arch, okay? Then the next one you're gonna go ahead and do is a shoulder exercise. You're gonna come up against the wall. You're going to lean your butt against the wall, your shoulders against the wall, then extend those arms out ahead of you, and then you're gonna lean forward. You're gonna feel the shoulder blades separate off, and then you're gonna squeeze your palms together, bend your wrists down, lock your elbows, and then reach and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna go ahead and pull your arms to the wall like that, Pinch your shoulder blades together and hold. 10, nine, push the wall away from you. No tight arm chicken wings. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your hands up, get them as close to the wall as you can. 10, you can stretch your head a little bit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So for right now, I want you guys to try to complete that entire routine one time per day. If you can complete that one time per day, that would be fantastic. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call or text me directly. I'm available for you as your resource.
Thanks. See ya.